I just wanted to update you on the progress of project 13. Right now I'm working on collision detection using the connect. Uh, in the past couple of days the work has been used uh, to divide up uh, the connect depth frames into five equal sections. Two sections on the right, uh, one in the center, and the last two on the left. Uh, so let's dive in. Okay, so if we go through this, you can see that uh, when the sensor all frames ready, event fires. Um, basically, it goes in, and uh, this is where we do the division of uh, the, the the depth frame into uh, sections. So it gets a depth array, and I'll just scroll down to uh, where it gets the depth array from. Um, so basically it's assigning the depth array with the depth frame height times the depth frame width times 4 and this is the exact same thing as the pixels so we're getting a depth value for each pixel on uh, the uh, depth frame and basically for each depth uh, you can see here we do the bit shifting and then we assign the depth into the depth array using the depth index and the depth index increases for every pixel that we use. So back up to the top here, um, we've done that so we now have a depth uh, array uh, full of ints uh, indicating the depth of each uh, pixel. Okay so now I've assigned four, uh, five sections, uh, one, zero through four, and these are all just declared as ints. And then I've assigned uh, an int called count, um, and then I've assigned four constant ints uh, um, for each section. So this means pixels zero through 15 are, this is the upper bound number. So pixels 0 through 15 is considered section 0 and pixels 16 through 31 is considered section 1 section 2 is uh, pixels 32 through 47 and because it uh, because the uh, the frame is processed in one row and then it processes the next row of pixels um, that is where this count will come into play so um, you can see what we're doing here. We go through each of the uh, depth values in the depth array. And if the depth is uh, less than or equal to uh, the depth frame min depth, and the count is less than the value of section 0 right here, um, then we uh, increase the section 0 count. So this goes through for each pixel and only one of these is going to trigger. Um, and then you can see we uh, increase the count. So once you've processed one full line of uh, pixels we want to reset the count to 0. Now if I had the count um, plus plus below this if statement this would be 79. Uh, but because it's above the if statement, it's 80. Um, so, be, and we're working on a resolution of 80 by uh, 60 frames, or 80 pixels by 60 pixels. So, this is the, uh, because we're dividing it vertically, we're going with the, uh, the vertical pixels here. Um, so, now, um, if the section count equals 308 or 3840 um, pixels that are um, below the minimum depth of the depth frame, then we want to uh, change uh, just it's basically a label um, to zero and that's section zero count if section one count is equal to the same thing then change it to section uh, the label to one and I'm just doing that through all of the sections uh, and then I just put an else statement uh, if none of the sections are equal to that 
just uh, put a dash. And um, I'll show you what this does. I'm just going to comment out this code here. Um, all right, so we'll see if we can get this running. And so there's the connect and there's that label I was talking about earlier. And if I move my hand in front of it, you can see that it is changing numbers based on the section that I am covering up. So that's basically how you divide uh, the sections up. And like I say, it's just a vertical section, so uh, it's divided into five sections. There's a middle section right about here, one here, one here, one there, and one off to the other side. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can find more on the progress of Project 13 at www.hobbyware.org. You can also follow me on Twitter by using at Terabyte13. Thanks and enjoy.